Grade 12 Physics, Energy and Momentum, Note Number 8, Ballistic Pendulum. So a ballistic pendulum is a classic example where we need to use both conservation of energy and conservation of momentum to find the final answer. So here we, we're going to deal with an inelastic collision. The, the typical example is when, um, let's say you're shooting a bullet, you shoot it into a box and that box is hanging by a string. When that bullet combines with the box, it's going to swing up to a certain height. And based on the height that it swings up to, we can calculate the initial speed of that bullet. So we're going to draw this um, classical example here, the bullet in the box. Let's say we have that bullet moving forward, the box is hanging on the strings. We get the inelastic uh, collision where the bullet embeds itself in the box and then they swing up to some height, which we'll call H. So let's actually do an example about this. Um, let's say here that a, a 6.5 gram bullet is fired into a 5.5 kilogram box. After the collision, the box is going to swing up to a height of 10.4 centimeters. So what we need to do here is we're going to use energy and momentum to try and find the initial speed of that bullet. What we're going to do, let's draw a diagram. It's very similar to uh, what we had just on the, the left side of the paper. There's the bullet moving forward and the box is going to move up to a height of 10.4 centimeters. We know the height of that box afterwards, so that's going to give us clues about the back end of the equation. If that box is just swinging from a low height to a high one, we can use conservation of energy to find what the speed of that box was at the bottom. And that would be exactly the speed after the collision of when the bullet hit the box. So let's use energy for that. So we have kinetic energy at the bottom of the swing and gravitational potential at the top. The masses will cancel. So let's calculate that velocity at the bottom of the swing. Putting in our correct numbers with the correct um, conversions. We get here a velocity at the bottom of the swing of 1.43 meters per second. So now that's our velocity just right after the collision um, whenever the bullet is embedded into the box. So that would be like our V prime in our momentum equation, which we're going to do now. So here we know that momentum initially equals momentum finally. So the bullet is flying into the box. So we have momentum for the bullet, which is one, the box, which is two. The box is just hanging there to begin with, so it's going to be zero rest. So is there zero velocity for rest? And when they're embedded together, they're going to be the same object, basically. So the velocities will be the same. We'll call it V prime. We'll factor that out. V prime is what we calculated before. It's 1.43 meters per second. So let's solve for the initial velocity of the bullet. We make our rearrangement. We put in our values with the appropriate uh, conversions. Using our value from before, we find a final velocity of the bullet to be 1,210 meters per second, which seems about right for a bullet. Let's do a second example here um, based on Cirque du Soleil. We have two acrobats that are running together. One of them is going to be hanging on a rope and the other one is going to be running on the floor. When the person runs to the person on the rope, they're going to swing up to some certain height. We're going to try and calculate how high they swing based on the initial conditions. So here's the first person running forward at 6.8 meters per second. This person's going to have a mass of 5.2 kilograms. They're going to run and jump into the arms of the person here holding onto the rope. That person has a mass of 59 kilograms and is initially at rest. So that running person is going to run and combine with that person. They're going to swing up to some height. We're going to try and calculate what that height is. So it's sort of the opposite direction or the opposite uh, uh, method from that previous example we saw on the other page. So first, we have all the information for the collision, so let's take a look at that and try and see if we can find the velocity after the collision, after they combine. So momentum of the first person plus momentum of the second person 
Again, they combine. So the V's we can sub out um, and just call it V prime. The, the hanging person's at rest to begin with too, so that can go to zero. So we're going to solve for V prime. That's the velocity of them combined afterwards. So we rearrange, put in our values, and find that after they uh, grab onto one another, the velocity here is going to be 3.19 meters per second. So using that, how high do they rise? We're just going to use energy on this side, where we know the velocity at the bottom of that pendulum versus um, um, how high they rise. We can calculate that height. So kinetic energy equals gravitational potential. We're going to solve for that h prime. We rearrange, put in our numbers, and we find that it rises to a height of 0.52 meters.